Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, September 26th. I did not vlog last week. Well, okay, that's a lie. I did vlog last week. I vlogged Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but each of the days had like two clips. So I was like, Kristen, just scrap it. It's fine. We didn't do much last week anyway. <clears throat> it was a lot of working. Uh, and did the pre-order, ordering a ton of fragrance oils, just all around being an extra busy like working kind of gal but um basically i gotta start this vlog off and say hello how are you i'm getting all these notifications and like this never happens <laughs> i don't know what's happening but anyway so today's tuesday we have not necessarily a busy week but it is going to be a more productive week because the pre-order did end so i do need to get started on that all of those fragrance oils plus the fragrance oils for the next collection are coming in this week so it's just a busy busy work week today we have a little bit more <clears throat> non-work related stuff which is fun um we have a parent teacher conference after school today that we're both going to um it's just normal like nothing crazy it's just like checking in see how avery's doing and then um we decided we're gonna go to spirit halloween today as well to see if we can pick out the girls halloween costumes and just i don't know i don't think they i think avery's been in a spirit halloween but i don't think like as an older kid she has but anyway so i'm gonna try a ghost energy drink today i've never tried one of these i've been wanting to this is the sour patch red berry you can't have this oh okay it's a red berry flavor um i figured if i would like any of these flavors i would like this one so I'm going to give it a try. Ryan is working from home today because we have the parent-teacher conference. So he said if I don't like it, to just take it to him. So I'm going to give it a try right now. Do you want to say hi? Hi. Ah, these are much bigger than Alani's. Like, they feel like a monster. Mommy. It smells good, yeah. No drops, no sugar. Yeah, it says zero sugar, which is perfect, actually. And it has, I believe, the same amount of caffeine as on Alani. Uh, oh, it's very good. Yes. Oh, it tastes like a Sour Patch Kid. You got stick, That's really good. You got stick with your brain. So, I'm not giving this to Brian, like. but I'm going to have him try that. That's no, so good. No water and no too much sugar. This says no artificial colors and then no sugar, yeah. Are you ready to go to the Halloween store today? Yeah, I'm really happy. Okay, go finish your breakfast. But yeah, so basically, but I'm going to be working... Home. Okay, I'm gonna be working all morning until it is time Can for. Put on on TV yeah, but with the remote. Okay. Sorry, uh, I'll be working all day basically until it's time for the parent teacher conference and then. Yeah, so. I'll catch up with you in a minute. I'm gonna go, Brian, try it. This is actually really good. It literally tastes like a red star patch kid. That's so weird. I don't think I love it more than Alani's, but. That's wild to me. Okay, bye. Oh, so I'm about to take my hoodie off because it's already hot and I get to work. But, well, actually, let's just do that because I gotta show you the shirt I'm wearing. It's extra cool. I ordered these two shirts from this Etsy shop. I don't remember the name of it, but I will link the Etsy shop down below. And they're really cool and I'm really excited. And if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you don't know. And that's fine. It's so nice. That's cool, right? Anyway, so this morning I was like, down here with Avery getting her breakfast before school and I'm sitting here and I'm staring at the counter space and I'm like we don't use that coffee machine anymore like let me just move it let me just clean that space and I'll have more counter space and I did and y'all like just that like small section opened up so much more space I'm so excited so because of that I'm able to finish so many scents so currently about to finish Winifred about to finish Black Flame Candle two of salem three of i put a spell on you one of dance until you die finishing frankenberry finishing count chocula let's get to work man i'll have to show you because i'll show you when i'm done pouring because it actually looks like prettier versus just like the empty molds and i also just posted the binks picture today which i'm excited about because the little paws are just so cute so cute oh so and someone said that too. They're so cute. Which they are. They're cute. But I finished those already. But yes. So. I'm ready to get this done. It's like 16 pictures. I'm going to be doing this for about an hour and a half. So. I'll show you when I'm done. But this drink. Ryan tried it. He said it was really good. He's like, are you like an energy drink girl now? And I'm like, girl dinner. Uh, no. Uh, kind of. I just don't have any energy in the morning anymore. And I haven't been drinking coffee because it makes my tummy go. Not great. 
It's like a Zoom Zoom juice. If you read The Dead Romantics, it's my Zoom Zoom juice, which speaking of, I gotta tell you guys what I'm reading right now, but I'll wait to show you. It is in the realm of this, so just... Also, I should probably check Book of the Month. I know it's only the 26th, but like the first is on Sunday. Oh, that got me excited, but it was just September books, which my September book was so freaking good. And I saw like a lot of people were like, oh, I didn't like it, which makes me sad. It was um, The Stranger Upstairs because I really liked it. Yeah. I heard You Again was really good though. Okay, I can't wait till they release October's books, but I'm gonna get started. I'm really excited. I have a lot to do, a lot of pouring. I'm gonna be here for the next hour and a half. So let's get to work. And I have three boxes of wax with two more on the way. Do I wanna tell you how much I spent on fragrance oils? Absolutely not, but I will say, if to give you a bit of perspective, when I was ordering fragrance oils, I told myself, I was like, okay, if you can stay below this number, like if it doesn't exceed this number, you can buy yourself a couple books. Like you can spoil yourself. And it went like $200 above that number. And I was like, mm. <laughs> did not buy any books. We did get new phones. Brian pre-ordered us phones though. I got the blue one. This is my new case. It's bats. And my plain pop socket. But I have the blue phone. Isn't she so pretty? Do you like my blue phone? You okay? Are you tired? You're still tired? Come here. Oh, come here, sleepy. She's still a little sleepy. Did you not sleep good last night? Are you playing with my hair? I mean, seriously. Look at how much space. Oh my gosh. So much more room. Holy crap, you guys. That actually took me two hours. And I still have five more minutes left because I have to let the souffles cool like a lot before I can put the tops on them. So that way they don't just like to the bottom, you know? So I have like five minutes until I can do the other half of the souffles. But yes, I got so much done. Like I actually think this might be it for wax today because I can't even like pop everything out for another like hour and a half. And by then Avery's gonna be home from school and it's gonna be dang near time to go to the parent-teacher conference. So I'm like, probably only gonna do that today. But you know what? I'm honestly not mad about it because I feel as though if I'm looking at production, I can get this all done tomorrow like easily and do freebies and then that's done so hocus pocus halloween cereals especially because the release is this friday will be all done and then i just checked in the majority of the pre-order oils aren't going to be here till thursday so thursday during the day i'm going to do the open orders we have and then once those come in friday i will start the pre-order now granted i like to do pre-orders from hardest to easiest and my hardest set is pistachio almond cookies and zucchini bread and that might take me more than a day. It might take me a bit to do, so I'll get started on it Friday. Can't guarantee I'll finish it, but at least I can get started on it. But yeah, I'm so grateful for the pre-order. Like, I feel like it went so well. Um, everybody seemed really excited about it. A lot of the scents did really, really well. There's a couple scents that didn't sell like super well, but honestly not surprised. A couple core scents, but... Um, I was also thinking too, I was like, oh, we're going to have a bunch of overstock of core scents as far as snap bars. And then I'm like, why would we do that? I'll just put them into regular stock. So if we ever have overstock of core scents, I'll just pop them into regular stock. I don't know. I'm having a day. But yeah, so basically um, in three minutes, I'll be done. I just have to let these cool. And I don't know what I want to do. So my video for tomorrow, there is not going to be a video for tomorrow as of right now. I'll probably have a video Thursday and then my new release is Friday because I want it tomorrow to be my melting basket, but I'm almost done with it. I have like two melts left, so <laughs> I can't exactly film that yet till I finish. Um, but otherwise, I don't know what I want to do today or for the rest of the next couple hours. Maybe I'll read. Um, maybe I'll start working on the calendar for the next, next month, October. And I still have to pick out the sizes that I want to do for the next collection. I'm like not 100% on those yet. And I could also make pre-ordered labels. That's one thing I did do last week that I obviously didn't share with you because I didn't vlog last week. But we are changing our label size. I'm changing it to the size like the... Do you guys remember when I did bundles? It was like this big. I'm changing all the labels to be that size. So I'm starting that with the Hocus Pocus collection. So the pre-orders are going to have that size label. And then everything moving forward will have that size label. 
corsets i'll probably just use what i have left and then transfer it over because i have a few but i am making the labels a little bit bigger so that way all the set notes can be what the heck all the set notes can be um displayed easier i guess because like we were doing zb for zucchini bread and i know i know sometimes for some people that might be like confusing especially if you're new i'm gonna see if i can yeah they're a lot bigger and like everything was written now and it has our website or like our etsy shop on there it's a lot easier i feel like so could do that um yeah i might just read for a little bit which would be really nice and i get to show you what i started reading yesterday which i'm really excited about so yes i have a minute i'm gonna do that and then i'll probably go read or find something to do because i like being all right, we are back in the bedroom because I decided I'm going to read for like an hour or so because I started this book last night, but I was falling asleep because I was exhausted and I only got about 50 pages in. Are you ready? We're starting. Like I said, I'm only 50 pages in, 51, but like, like stuff has happened, but like not a lot of stuff. So I'm going to read a little bit of this right now and get more into it because the story is good so far and I'm following along a lot easier like for me fantasy is sometimes like I feel like it's like this too for a lot of people fantasy can be difficult especially when you first start a book because like you have to try and like get into the world and understand what's going on especially if you're just like tossed right in like you're in with this book you're just like tossed right in like you're trying to figure it out and especially books that have maps in the front they psych me out every time I'm like a map girly i don't know so i'm gonna keep reading a little bit of this rest for a bit and then um probably get ready like put some makeup on so i don't look like a like a this like a look, i showered last night so my hair is like super clean but yeah that's what i'm gonna do feeling really productive because like although i did it's one round i did 16 pictures it took me two hours and i got one two three four cents completely done and three halfway done I'm pretty proud, I'm not gonna lie. So, let's get to reading. I just put on a full face of makeup. I'm letting it dry, um, which is why I'm not wearing my glasses. Brian was like, are you, well, it was like a full face, but it's very light. Like, I'm not, I don't do like crazy makeup. Um, oh, my cat is sleeping right there. Brian was like, are you doing a full face for this? And I was like, yes, but no. <laughs> like, I'm going as quick as I can, but also I still wanna have makeup on so I don't look like dead, especially because we're going out to like the real world you know after this but anyway so avery's reading avery in a minute and then i'm gonna put on jean shorts i think because i'm just wearing like um cozy shorts and then we can go wow well, it's like the light is so bright right there is that better i don't know but yeah and then i have to show you ray she's she's so cute hopefully she doesn't move hold on you're burled in there you look so cute <laughs> me too very pretty. Are you cozy? <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. Mom, it's creepy. Mm. That's a nice. Mm. Mm. Push it. That's actually really good. Go do the other one, Avery. Go do the other one. Well, Reagan, you want to do that one? Here, come on, guys. Come on. Okay. Yeah, honey. I'm scared. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Do you even step on it? Well, that's scary. Okay, then don't do it. Avery. Oh, wait, that doesn't Okay, we are back. I'm not going to show you guys the kids' Halloween costumes because I want it to be a surprise, right? We want to surprise them. Yes, yes. So I'm not going to tell you guys what they picked, but they picked... Mm -hmm. Reagan, she always mm -hmm. goes along the same path. Avery always goes along the same path as well, which is a little bit funny. But anyway, yeah. I almost got the large Beetlejuice tombstone. But then I thought about it and I was like, Kristen, it only can sit outside for 30 days. So I got the small one and it's 15 bucks and it's going to be <laughs> yeah, it's a great. little, yeah, it's cool. And it's going to sit on our bookshelf like year round because it's, it's great. cool. But I also, I've never seen the Beetlejuice, like they're full Beetlejuice. Usually you see the scary movie characters, you see a bunch of stuff. 
So this is what we can get. It's a mystery keychain. The two mystery figures look like the, the this one looks like a bride. Oh no, bride Lydia's are already over there. So I don't know what that could be, but this looks like the shrunken head. But I'm gonna open it. Which one do you want me to get? Big mouth, the big one. The big mouth, she calls Barbara the big mouth. <laughs> Which they had Barbara plushies at Spirit, and I was like, ugh. I didn't even look at the price. I should have. All right, let's see what we get. I'm gonna just try and rip it anywhere, I guess. Where's the rip tag? Am I, I don't know. Am I crazy? It's easy with your hands. Yeah. It's scissors. It's like not working. It's scissors. Hold on, I can do it. I promise I can. I want Barbara. You want Barbara? Yeah. This is for me, fool. Yeah, I really like her. She Dude, how am I? She's cool. You gotta watch the Beetlejuice movie with me this year. Okay, fine. Seriously, it's my favorite movie of okay, like, all time. Okay, fine. I yes. I cannot get this open. Avery, go get me the scissors. Okay, I'll get you the scissors. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like... Biggest pain in my butt. I honestly don't think I would care who I get. I maybe don't really want the handbook. I feel like the handbook's kind of cheesy, but it also would look cute as a keychain. I think this is the shrunken head, and I can't, maybe this is Miss Argentina. <gasps> Actually, I want Miss Argentina. Here you go, that's the scissors. They're way too huge. They are huge. <gasps> what? I didn't get Barbara. Oh no. I got Bride Lydia. I love this one. Mm -hmm. Bride Lydia. She looks cool. She is cool. Is there anything else in here? I think that's it. Oh, I should have got two, but I feel like that would have been such a waste of money. <gasps> Bride Lydia, how exciting. I'm putting this in my keys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, bye. Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Oh, look, here's the other shirt I wore today just for you guys. I haven't worn this one yet. Um, I wore the other one last week, so obviously you didn't see that, but here's the other one but i have been working all morning so i just finished well okay i have one picture left to do of the tombstones but essentially all the release for friday is complete i even did freebies i did grape which i'm really excited about because i personally like the smell of grape so i wanted to go out as a freebie to kind of get feedback from y'all um <clears throat> so that's done but yeah so that's my first round of the day completed everything my next round is just going to be the one round of the tombstones and then i have two cents i need to restock i need to restock fresh picked strawberries and blueberry cobbler and that'll be my last wax for today which is exciting so i'm going to spend the rest of today i need to do laundry i'm probably going to do some filming i want to finish filming my september haul probably a base and i do want to film a melting basket because i completely finished my melting basket well it's not done yet i have one more scent to pop in which I could probably pop in soon. And then I could film that. So I can go through pulling with you guys today. Um, probably want to print labels today because it's going to take me a little bit since I changed the labels. It used to be like 60 to 65 to a sheet. Now it's 15 to a sheet. So I do have to print multiple label sheets. Um, what that basically means is like for one cent i would only print one sheet at a time because i never usually made 65 of something unless maybe pre-order but regardless never um but with these i need to actually go through my stock counts because some i do a lot of these are over 15 like i don't just make 15 of some things like some of these i'm oh, fuck, how many am i gonna have to print of that let's do some math four sheets of uh, one of these so yeah, so maybe I'll print those, print the freebie labels, and then maybe today I will also finalize the Deathly Hallows sizes, um, as well as colors, and probably make the pre-order labels as well, which is going to take me a while. So yeah, today is going to be a little bit busier, um, but I need to get back into the groove of working a lot more because with this pre-order I do want to work a lot more more and like quickly and especially having like just that like extra like two feet like a foot even maybe like one by two of space on my counters i feel like i can get so much more done that's so nice so i'm gonna go ahead now and just go start doing laundry because i would like to have that started um i keep checking book of the month even though i know they're gonna go up friday because like i said uh sunday is the first i just keep checking it casually just to see you know but anyway so yeah, sorry, I lost my whole track of my brain. I've been doing that a lot lately. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go start laundry and let these cool. I just finished pouring, so they should be cooled by like 12.30. Um, it's 11-ish right now. And I'm getting to choose the, not choose, but look at the votes for the Let's Blend, the next Let's Blend collection. So I get to do that today. It's just gonna be kind of a busier day, but that's how I'm feeling. I got to page 150 last night of Throne of Glass. I have to say, I just really enjoy Sarah J Moss's pacing in her books. I always just think like with fantasy, like it's usually like in my brain, I would just assume it'd be a slower storyline, but I feel like she just like moves things along so quickly that like it's hard for you to get bored. And I kind of love that. So yeah, I've been really enjoying the pacing of her um, books. Sorry, my brain just, I just moved the night. But look at this. <laughs> I was obsessed anyway okay i'm gonna go start laundry now so that way that can actually uh get going because our laundry basket it's only been a week since i've done it but for some reason it's just really 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 full Alrighty, so i haven't gotten the opportunity to film my melting basket just yet because i'm just waiting which is fine but i have everything set in my room sorry i've been like up and down the stairs multiple times <sighs> out of breath um, but I have everything in my office to film that. So I have an empty bag here so I can fill it up. And I figured it'd be fun because I've been like itching to pull wax. So let's just get started. If you don't know how I pull wax, I pull two from each drawer. Well, that's a lie. My fantasy wax drawer, if it's shot cups, I usually pull five. Um, but I have everything to the front that's the oldest. And I just, I don't know, I have a weird system. That's just how it is. Um, so for this drawer, we have Pain and Panic from Nerdy Wax. I've melted this a million times from Villainous Wax, and it's so good. It's got a blast. Like, I just want to smell it. Yeah, it's... Whoa. The more this is cured, this particular one, the more it kind of has, like, a tobacco-y scent. It's not bad. It's just different. Uh, from this drawer, we'll do a stretch, oh, which I'm so excited about. It's grape. I've been loving grape. And Wit and Wax Christmas Cheer. I'm wearing a lot of shot cup stuff. And then this is fantasy. So this whole, I'll actually get to pull all this up um, and restock it. But this whole front, front row can go. Ooh, so I have, oh, Binks, which is so exciting. This was our first uh, Hocus Pocus collection. So Binks, uh, sorting hat. There's a Slytherin one. There you go. Uh, Eloise at Christmas time flounder and jingle all the way and then i'll come back and pull all this forward and i mean the back really can get filled in we'll do that together maybe i don't know we'll see this drawer is also almost empty the next time i pull it'll be empty we have grim grinning ghosts from nerdy wax and pharmacist daughters baker's delight and then this drawer we have rose girls cookie land and sassy girl blueberry disneyland which i think she's renamed this but finally some bigger stuff and then last from l3 we have diagon alley which this is an owl which is cute and pineapple salty sea air such a random random basket okay so that's all the drawers and then i pull a random one from this like andrea bin that she's de-stashed i'm just gonna shove my hand in here and pull something sure whatever this is Cafe Crema from the pharmacist daughter. And the same thing with Hannah's, which Hannah's box is almost empty. Oh, I've melted this. Sis. From Black Magic Melts. And then I do grab a freebie, but I'll do that last. So, I guess we can fill this drawer. I don't know where to put you. Let me figure that out. I don't know if this is the best spot. You're on a pile of clothes. But anyway, can you see? Oh, yeah, good, you can. So, I'm going to pull this forward. I feel like I've been going through the fantasy wax drawer a lot quicker because I've been pulling five shot cups at a time. But, like, that's how you get rid of them. So, not get rid of them. That sounds just awful. That's how you go through them. Where does 
even happening in this drawer? I feel like things got so whack when I moved. Or like when I like moved my drawers, you know? Alright, let's... I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Let's just do that. Okay, and then I have all my fantasy wax stuff right here. I'm just gonna start with these. I feel like I can do too deep. I totally can. And I'll see. I don't know, but just know I'm filling these drawers up, okay? I have so many shot cups, it's kind of nuts. I almost feel like I could make overstock grab bags from half of these, but like most of these I've kept for a certain reason, you know, like something's wrong with them or I don't know. I'd rather just use them. I know these are the oldest. Yeah. Also just gonna grab one to put right here. And I feel like I could put maybe another layer of something right here. So let's do that. Yeah. I can. Like, for context, this is coconut cream pie and cinnamon sugar, whoop, pretzel. I don't know. I just feel like, and this one is lemon meringue pie and Adam from, like, the original Beetlejuice collection. Like, some of these are super old. Santa, I know him. Mr. Narwhal, that's from Elf. We did, I mean, we did use shot cups for dang near two years, so, like, I shouldn't be shocked. But I have so many, but I did just clear a huge chunk of them, so that's kind of exciting. Look how full this drawer is now. That's so pretty. Oh my god. You want to see my other drawers? I don't know how well you can see. So, like, this is all I got left up at the top here. This one's pretty full as well. I think this, yeah, I just did that one. This one, I only have this up front, and then I'll be able to pull everything forward, and we can pull basically just sassy girl aroma um i do have rose girls though i can show you guys um i'm doing a haul um my haul will go up probably before this but i'll refill that once i film the haul but then here i also only have just one right here so this drawer will also get filled there's all that and this is my l3 drawer which has i mean this is the front row still so it's pretty it's supposed to be like this but pretty full still once I get to these, it's gonna be fun stuff. But yeah, it's basically what that looks like. We refilled a drawer, which is exciting. I feel like once I empty this out, I'm gonna be like, oh, I need to buy wax. Not a good, not a good thought process. But that's how my thought, my brain works. I also did grab for the freebie, Sassy Girls Radiant Leaves, which I haven't smelled in a minute. Pretty good. Okie doke. Okay, so officially on my last round of wax for the day, it's gonna be super easy. It's just three pictures. I'm finishing the tombstones, which are dance until you die, and then I'm doing a restock of blueberry cobbler and fresh picked strawberries. And that's gonna be it for wax making, probably until maybe Friday. Maybe I'll start something tomorrow, but I feel like tomorrow is mostly just going to be orders and labeling everything. There's so much to label. But yes, this is my last round for the day. I'm very happy. I printed all of the labels. It took almost an hour to print everything because I had to print multiples. Everything was at least two sheets. Um, some were three. And I had to order more ink because I was running out, which is always not fun. So I did all that. But yes, so I'm finishing those now. I just started this stove, so they'll take a minute. Um, I think one of my loads of laundry is in the dryer right now. It might be done here within the next 20 minutes, so I should be able to fold that. And it's almost one, so then I have like a little bit to go get Avery, and I feel like my table that I have all the wax melts on is going to just explode, <laughs> cause like, it's heavy. But I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. 
um like i said i still have those videos i want to film today and i have to pick the let's blend but that's easy like that's a very simple task and post that on facebook which like i always get so excited when i make those posts and everybody starts adding their blends because i just like realize like how much you guys enjoy it just as much as i do and it makes me really happy so i'm really excited to pick those and this time for the let's blend like the top people get um ten dollar shop credit and i decided to go ahead and just stack it so if you get multiple blends chosen like why not get like 20 30 dollars shop credit you know what i'm saying because like i appreciate you guys actually like taking the time to name a blend and put a blend out there why not like kind of reward you kind of does that is that the correct word i want to say maybe but um yes so it's kind of what we're looking at we're getting a lot of mail within the next couple of days because of all the orders coming in but I have some stuff I want to share with you guys. I shared it. I completely forgot because I scrapped all the clips from last week. I did share the girls. I've got both of their advents in last week and I shared them. So I'll share them with you now because obviously I scrapped those clips. And then me and Brian are going to be doing an advent together this year that's coming tomorrow. So I'll show you that tomorrow too. Maybe I'll show them all at once. And yeah, maybe I'll print invoices tonight for orders. I don't know we'll just see what i'm feeling there is a game we want to watch tonight miami's playing houston and i'm cooking this week but it's all basic food like i did not want to do anything crazy i think it's like we are probably gonna make oh by the way i did make that lasagna soup by the way it's very good i'll probably make it again in the future i'll show you in the future um spaghetti pork chops we're gonna make homemade pizzas i think at some point probably not tonight maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow homemade pizzas um no nothing crazy this week just very simple easy recipes maybe i'll try and cook more next week but also next week i plan to work well okay so next week's weird i'm changing up my schedule let me check the stove and then i'll explain okay it's good for now so i'm changing up my schedule working at spc moving forward starting next week because i would love to have at least like one weekend day with the fam one day to sleep in one day for us to like do stuff together um so Brian is also changing his schedule to work from home so that way I can go in an addition not an additional day but like just rearrange my schedule whatever so I do want to work I'm going to be working two days during the week and then one weekend day my goal is Sunday Monday Tuesday but it's going to be a little weird next week um so this weekend I'm working Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday so I won't see you again till Wednesday but it's bless you it shouldn't be too different because you'll still get four days of vlog footage from me but at least one of the days will be like a weekend day and we'll be doing stuff so that's exciting <sighs> yeah that's all i wanted to share i think i don't know i have a nice bin next to me full of fragrance oils that are ready for the pre-order like all of my like half empty ones you know what i mean but like <sighs> i'm so sleepy wait was that in the pre-order why did I pull this out? Was this in the pre-order? Yeah, it was. I, Y'all should have seen me last week ordering these pre-order fragrance oils. I had every single oil written down with like a check mark next to it if I needed multiple, how much I wanted to order, if I needed to order, where I was ordering it from. Oh my God, it was the biggest pain in my butt. It took me like two hours. So much math, but I'm gonna get back to making, making wax now. And um, after this, I'll probably catch up with you then. Yeah? Yeah. I'm basically done with all of my chores for the day. I still have one more load of laundry to fold, but I'll do that in a little. The dryer just went off, but I figured now is probably the best time to film the rest of the videos I need to do. Melting basket, the rest of the haul, maybe a base. We'll see how I'm feeling. So I'm moving upstairs now. I got my house not fresh. It's from yesterday still, but I got some water left. And the kids are in Avery's room just chilling. Oh, I forgot I brought my melting basket stuff in here. I'm like, dang, it's kind of messy in here. So I'm gonna film these videos quick and maybe I'll put my melting basket up Saturday because I don't feel like editing tonight. But for the most part, my chores, well, yeah, my chores for the day are done. And then my father-in-law just was like, hey, are you guys cooking tonight? Like, did you set anything out? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I could, but like, I really didn't like, I want to, like, I don't mind cooking, but like, also I don't, I don't know if you want to pick up food, whatever, because I felt like that's what he was insinuating. So he's picking up food for us for dinner, which is cool. So I'm going to set up and film this melting basket quick and probably the rest of the haul. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm getting sleepy. I'm going through my midday slump. 
me and Brian were talking about that the other day. I, well, I feel like it's normal for a lot of people, but I go through this midday slump and that's usually when I start to nap, but I'm trying not to. What time is it? It's 3.30, but I don't really want to nap, but like, it sounds nice. <laughs> All right, let's film. Hello, happy Thursday. I was cold to so put my hoodie back on, but then I got hot, so I pulled my hair up. I washed my hair too. It's probably shouldn't put up, shouldn't have put it up, but here we are. Happy Thursday. Today is going to be a very um, like computer heavy day, I suppose. We're gonna be doing orders together today. I already made my to pull list, but I still need to print invoices and shipping labels. But I will do those in a moment because. I need to go get pictures for the scents that need to have uh, pictures posted today on Instagram. I usually do that the night before, but last night I was feeling extra, extra lazy. We were watching Miami play Houston, and I just didn't feel like going upstairs, honestly. So it's just three scents. Um, I think it's the Disney shape, the tombstone shape, and the XL snap bar. So I can just take those upstairs real quick and get those pictures done captions made so i can post those today because those i'd like to get started posting like in the next 30 minutes or so with the first one at least so that's first things first but yeah today is mostly going to be a computer heavy day doing orders oh i am going to label everything today and that will honestly probably take me like two hours and i don't have big brother from last night to watch because there was no big brother last night so i don't know what i'm gonna put on probably just put my headphones on and zone out but <laughs> I need to label everything today and I need to make the shop calendar for October. I need to finalize Deathly Hallows shapes and we finalized Let's Blend last night and I made the codes for everybody who got shop credit. I think that's it. Oh, and the only, I have to film today. I have to film new releases to go up tomorrow, which means I need to put makeup on. So today is like relatively busy, but it's not like I don't know, like I can get most of it done. Like it's not too bad. So I'm gonna get started by getting those pictures done and then we'll do orders. I'm here with Reagan just alone right now. My father-in-law's out, so he it's only seven orders. So I'm crossing my fingers that I can get these done while he's gone. It's not too bad. And yeah, let's go get these pictures done and then I can uh, get started on orders with you guys. Okay, pictures are taken, captions are made. I'm not gonna post for another like 20 minutes, but Hey, that was pretty fast. I have the printer going right now because I'm going to print these seven invoices. I might have said, but I don't think I did. I can't truly remember. Um, we have so many packages coming today between all of the fragrance oils. Like, oh yeah, one of them hasn't even said they're shipped yet. Hold on, let me check that one. Because there's one that hasn't said it's shipped yet. Which, to be fair, I think it's just like a couple of oils and I'm not like, you know, I don't need them right now, but like, it'd be nice. Um, let me check though. Oh, what is this? Let's see. <clears throat> um, oh, book of the month did post today, by the way. I did it in like a slumber while looking at my phone. I picked, um, Starling House by Alexi Haro. It's like a gothic, gothic something. I don't know. Uh, I picked that today though. Um, anyway, was I looking forward to see if one of them shipped? I don't think it did. It's just two oils, but like, what is their... I wonder what their shipping time is, because I ordered this last Friday, and their... Oh, their current processing time is a week. <laughs> Lame. That's okay. But, um, yeah, so all the shipping stuff... Shipping stuff? All the fragrance oils and stuff are going to be here today, as well as, like fun stuff like i have some amazon packages coming um brian told me and i'll probably repeat this to you guys when i show you but he told me on like monday that old navy was having like a crazy sale and it they were like they had stuff on clearance and then the clearance once you put it in your cart was marked down an additional 40 percent off plus i had what is it like super cash or whatever old navy cash so i had a cart full of stuff i think i got 18 things Mostly for the girls. I only got two things for myself. Um, I got 18 things, and my cart total was like 468, which is I would never have checked out. Are you kidding me? But then it got marked down to like 100 and some, and I was like, they could, and they were fall clothes. They're fall clothes. So I was like, yeah, uh, we're doing that. So the first package is coming today, and the second package is coming Saturday. So um, maybe I'll save that stuff to show you guys on Wednesday. I don't really know, but. 
that's coming today and then uh, me and Brian's advent calendar our advent calendar is coming today and I have some books coming why can't I get this Alani open but yeah so lots of packages and stuff are coming today but yeah I'm gonna get this open with I'm gonna go get a butter knife and shove it under this because I can't open this for some reason all right we're prepped to do the seven orders we're gonna do them together um we're trying it's a mess right now but i have everything so let's get started so first um, these are the orders that came in after the pre-order was closed and up until today so that's exciting because we haven't had a release since then so i appreciate that thank you guys um up first we have i think it's pronounced rabia from washington two of the feeling bubbly she actually sold us out of the feeling bubbly so the two um what are these called rainbows so i'll go ahead and pack these up i did not purposefully i did not put the new freebies in my freebie bin yet so my freebie bin is very empty um, because i want those new freebies which are like grape toasted marshmallow and christmas cravings um to go out with the hocus pocus release so this freebie will be amish harvest whoops i almost literally threw that and i need to empty this trash can because it's constantly filling up i already scheduled a post office pickup i got hair in my eye so that's exciting i can hear the trash truck as well so if you hear that that's what that loud yeah you might not be able to hear it just yet i believe it's the street behind us right now it might have already hit our street i'll have to go check Okay, and then I'm gonna make sure I don't show. Okay, and these I believe printed in order correctly this time, so that's good because it was annoying last time. So there is Rabia's order. Next we have Stephanie from North Carolina. Um, Stephanie got the large waffle of kind of salty, kind of sweet, a boyfriend hoodie. Let's do this. Um, well, I'm not gonna. I'm just not this trunk bag um oh one of the june pre-order overpours which this is all that's left of the pre-order overpours you guys saw a couple vlogs back how much there was so this was lavender marshmallow here um a dark roast a coffee shop a fresh picked strawberry and a peppermint stick. So all that, and I believe this is priority it is. So let's bag it up. We'll do two different bags, I think. Am I actually, no. We'll just separate it into two different ones. So first freebie, cool water. Oh, I just melted this the other day. So good. And then second little baggie will be, that's cool water. Fresh peaches. Okay, and then this is priority. So I have a priority mailer. Just trying like my hardest to not show you guys the labels. <clears throat> Cause I have them at such a strange angle. And then there is Stephanie's from North Carolina. Next we have Kaylin from Indiana. Uh, two Casper. Two Casper. A Sleepy Hollow. It's back here. A Best Day Ever. Y'all don't sleep on this scent. There's like three or four left of these. It's bubblegum and malo fluff. And don't be discouraged by bubblegum. It's so good. Best Day Ever. Um, a Please Don't Scream. Lots of these um, pumpkins. And then two cereal and milk. Perfect, seven. So, let's see. One, two. 
recipe for, I might be able to fit this all, no. The, the rainbow is gonna have to go by itself. So first freebie, cool water. I have a, well, yeah, that's the majority I think is cool water. And then the rainbow is gonna have to go by itself. Birthday cake. Should be able to fit this in a purple but if not i'll have to go grab another navy I should be able to. yes i can okay cool after this i'll probably i mean reagan's been chilling like she's upstairs chilling i might go grab my headphones and Start labeling stuff probably just watching like YouTube videos and stuff um, because like I have so much to label so I'll probably do that next I think that's probably my best plan of action here's Kaylin's next we have Laura from Canada this is a, a planner girl fellow planner girl and I love Laura she's so sweet she got a bunch of stuff so she got a Casper um, a kind of salty, kind of sweet waffle. Let's see, Sleepy Hollow. Um, some of the June overpour. So we have fresh bread, pretzel, sugar cookie royale. These aren't organized that well because I just put them in this small bin. So, here we go. Fresh bread, pretzel, sugar cookie royale, pink sugar, tea, and cakes. Lemon pound cake, blackberry jam, butter cookies. I think that's like right here. Yep, lemon pound cake, blackberry jam, butter cookies, peppermint, mallow fluff, and sugar milk. Right here. Um, oh shoot. I hate the way Etsy does this. A can I keep you? Which is here. Please don't scream. Uh, the chunk bag. Oh, they all just fell. It's fine. And then zucchini bread, buttery caramel. Right here. This one. Sorry. French baguette, brown sugar. Sorry, it didn't break. I just dropped it. Jeez. And then a cereal milk zucchini. I thought I saw that one, yeah, that's right here. And then a blue sugar salty sea air. There, I mean, it's like slowly but surely getting tiny. That's exciting. So 14 items and I have to put it in a navy bubble mailer. So let's see how we can do here. So we have three. Six, I can fit nine snap bars per nine so then i guess i just have to figure out how to fit the rest of that in a thing by itself which i think i can do this freebie will be cool water okay and then this one we have the waffle first and then chunks oh yeah this is easy easy please i always forget that like yes these pumpkins are in a larger bag but I can easily just like fold it over and it fits in there pretty perfectly so we have cool water and almond biscotti I haven't seen that one in a bit okay and let me grab my navy mailer what is that these are in my garage and sometimes I get nervous I'm like what is on these man here's the hat not yet, fits perfectly. And then this was a two pager, so let's make sure I could grab both pages. Okay. And then shipping label. Perfect. All right, and then here is Laura's from Canada. Next, we have Melissa from New Jersey. Just two Caspers. 
super easy. Let's make sure they're two different faces. They are. So just pop the two Caspers in here. Freebie is marshmallow peppermint. Melissa's from New Jersey. Perfect. Next we have, this is a, I think it's Kara. Kara's first order, which is exciting. She's from Indiana. Uh, we have a pistachio pudding cake, a cereal and milk, a lemon pound cake, pumpkin pecan waffles, a Dumbledore, blueberry cobbler, and a please don't Scream. Perfect little order. So let's package this one up. Seven, perfect. And then Kara will get almond biscotti. See, I talked about it one time, and now all of a sudden that's all I'm seeing. And then we'll put this one in a purple mailer. Oh, thank you, Kara, for choosing to shop with us. How exciting. Okay. Okay. And then here is Kara's from Indiana. And then last but not least, we have Haley from New Hampshire. Haley got a Dumbledore, a Casper, some of the Overpour, so a lemon pound cake, blackberry jam, butter cookies. Right here. I have a hair on me. Lovely. Uh, blue sugar salty sea air. Oh, okay, and we're done with these. So this is all I have left. Which is exciting. Um, and then, sorry, a mini chunk. Kill, kill? I don't know. I really don't know. A can I keep you? A pretzel. And then the large waffle. So there is that. And this is priority, so I don't have to be crazy about packaging this because there's not a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it might have been buyer requested, but I don't know why I got bumped up to priority because I could have probably sent this first class. Um, cool water, the first one. That's fine with me. And then the second one. Getting like fuzzies all over me. Cool water and... Yummy mummy! That's so exciting because that's getting released tomorrow. So we'll pack this one up for Haley. All right, and there's Haley's, and that's seriously it for all my orders. I'm gonna go put them in the bag. Um, and yeah, I just got a crumb. We call them crumbs around these, this house. Crusties, whatever, in our eye. That really hurt. I had a really weird dream about that last night. That was weird. Just had some weird deja vu. Anyways, so I'm going to label everything now. So I'm going to go upstairs and get my headphones. I'm going to connect them to my computer. And I'm just going to catch up on YouTube videos while I do it. I have to label the three freebies and then the 13 Hocus Pocus scents plus the five Halloween cereals. So I'm gonna be busy for a couple of hours. So I'll check in with you guys later, but basically the rest of my day just looks like that. Um, what else am I doing today? Filming the new releases, getting that edited and uploaded. <clears throat> and what else? Shop calendar. Ooh, since I'll be on the computer for a bit, I might make all of the pre-order labels because that's gonna take some time. So, 
And I might make the Deathly Hallows labels too. Just while I'm there. Just might as well. You know what I'm saying? Might as well. And I'm excited. I'll show you guys what the new labels look like as they're on. I think I just heard someone say mom. Probably Reagan. So. Oh, and it's because the trash truck's going by. She's probably scared. So. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi. It's 4.45. I haven't checked in with you guys in a bit because. Oh, I've been upstairs laying in bed for like three hours. I'm not going to lie. I labeled everything. It took me. A little under two hours. I think it was about an hour and a half. But everything's labeled ready to go for orders Wednesday. So that's cool. Um, oh, don't even come near me, weirdo. Millie's walking next to me. And I'm convinced she's a real person. Because when we were all upstairs, she was meowing. And I heard her meowing, hello. And now I'm scared. Um, never heard that from her before. I think she's a real person. Okay. Um, UPS running slow today. Uh, I'm waiting on them to come. I got my big, big package from the USPS. Our mail person dropped it off at our door because I don't think it fit in the parcel locker. I haven't opened it yet because it's just so big and I wanted to open them all at once and kind of like distinguish what's going to be Deathly Hallows, what's going to be um, pre-order. So it's just sitting there waiting, but um, I'm gonna start cooking dinner in a little. I'm gonna wait till Brian leaves though, because I'm making pork chops and the pork chops are thin, like very thin. So like they're gonna cook really quickly. I think I'm gonna do pork chops, crescent rolls. I'm gonna see if we have any of those like pasta sides, um, either butter noodles or rice. Um, those are delicious. You know, those like packets you can buy. We love those, like the chicken rice or the butter, butter noodles, not butter and herb. Butter and herb's not good. Butter, fantastic. I mean, butter and herbs fine, but butter is the best. Um, and a vegetable. Um, I'm sure we have green beans or something. Oh, we have fruits and stuff. We have grapes. Maybe I could cut up some grapes for the kids too. But yeah, I've just been in bed lane for like, oh, my camera's dying. A couple hours. Oh, nice. Um, a couple of hours and I just haven't felt like moving and that's fine, you know, because today I guess is technically like a day off for me, which is cool. So I'm going to run back upstairs and get you a new battery. I still have to film the pre-order new releases. I'm going to put makeup on, but I think I'm just going to do like concealer and mascara and go very minimal makeup for this new release video. I mean, they don't get that many views anyway, so I don't really care. But, um... I'm gonna start cooking here in a bit. Yeah, Amazon's not even here yet either. Mm. And then me and Brian are probably just gonna watch some sh ow, shows tonight. I think Reservation, Stog Reservation Dogs, the series finale was on last night, which if you haven't watched that, it's such a good show. It's on Hulu, it's so good. Um, I love that show. I watch that and then, well, there's lots of shows we wanna watch, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, so we'll see. But I'm going to go get you guys a new battery and then probably start cooking. Oh, she's about to meow because she thinks she has no food, but I literally am looking at food. And Ray's just staring at it like she doesn't think she has food, but she has food. Yep, here she comes. <laughs> I'll get you a new battery. And also, I'm starting to sweat again. Ugh, life. I forgot to show you guys. I wanted to show you the labels. Um, This is the size that we used to put on the bundles. So this is like an oops, but I mean, it's still pretty hefty milk. But yeah. So these are what the new labels look like. I wanted it to be fairly basic, but also at the same time, I just wanted the font to be a little bit bigger because I, I hear you guys when you say that the font is very small and I also changed it so it's a little bit more readable. Um, it has our website on it and then it also says Port in Austin, Texas, which is um, nice. Um, the only ones that it looks weird on are the XL snap bars because these are the smallest of the bags. Um, and maybe I'll just put them on the bags before I put the bars in because I put them on around the bars and it's weird, but I still feel like it works. And so that's what we're going to slowly be transitioning to. So that scared me. I'm like really waiting on UPS right now too. And Amazon. I have like three packages coming from Amazon right now. Did I tell y'all I took like a 15 minute nap? I wish it was longer. I'm so tired. Oh, now arriving 6.15. It said 5.15. I have three separate packages coming. I really gotta stop that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go look. Let's go and see what we got to eat. Okay, so 
And then also I got Avery's um, digital <clears throat> digital school picture yesterday. I don't have the printed ones yet. Hopefully they send those next week. Um, she's so stinking cute. I'm obsessed. All her school pictures though, she always looks so like caught off guard. And I think it's like the cutest thing on the whole planet. But um, why do we have crushed tomatoes? Why did I buy those? Did I get them for free? Did Brian's dad buy them? I don't know. But this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks like we have a bunch of butter. Oh, butter and herb. Did I buy them and they just grab butter and herb? Yeah. Usually when I buy them, I buy butter. So I don't know if maybe the person, holy shit, picking. Picked butter. The chicken flavor is also good. And is this the rice? Yeah, the rice. I'll probably make the rice today. Sorry, I keep pumping you on the wall. Um, the creamy chicken rice. I'll probably make this today. And um, do we not have any vegetables? At least not in here. When did I get crushed tomatoes? I feel so random. Um, I'm gonna go look in the freezer. I know we have crescent roll. Let me bring this with me because otherwise it's just gonna be laying here. Is that there? Um, yeah, we have a bunch of mixed veggies, broccoli. Oh my god, we have cheddar bay biscuits. What if I make these instead? Ready to bake. Jono, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard it on the unfiltered podcast that they're closing all the red lobsters. Is that true? I hope they don't ever get rid of these. 30 minutes? Not tonight. Absolutely not. Yeah, we have um mixed veggies. So probably make oh, and we have peas. Reagan loves peas. Oops. Oh, they were open. <laughs> Three peas just roll out. And we have broccoli. Um, I'll figure out a vegetable situation. Let me clean up these three peas that I just like threw on the ground here. So I'll probably do crescent rolls, rice, a vegetable, and pork chops. That sounds easy enough. Um, I'm not gonna share that with you because I feel like that's like easy. And y'all know how to do that. I like sharing like, not harder, but like new recipes. <laughs> Ugh, I'm tired, okay. I'm gonna see your prize on his way yet so I can cook. Okay, so we're sitting on the floor. This is everything I have to show you. Um, we're waiting on my new release video to finish rendering. It's got like three minutes left. Perfect timing, UPS came. Still waiting on Amazon. God, it is freaking hot in this room. I just put my hoodie back on because it's like chilly downstairs. But it's hot in this room. Um, I'm just looking, sorry, to see if they're out for delivery, which they are, but they have till 8.30. But yeah, I was looking at the weather. The high today is 93, but it's saying next week the high is in the high 70s. Oh, I hope so, man. Anyway, so I'll show you guys this stuff first, and then I'll show you guys this stuff because I'm like genuinely excited. So the Old Navy, the first package of Old Navy stuff came. I'll probably show you the second package next week. I remember which I should because um it's supposed to come Saturday so I'll show you Wednesday so this first package only has a few things uh this is mine I don't normally buy anything for myself from Old Navy but I was like you know what let's look into their basics so I just got this like plain it was like eight dollars basic long sleeve white tee let's see what it was originally originally $22.99 I got it for eight bucks so there's that and then I have a couple of Avery things and a couple of Reagan this is the first Avery thing I added a bunch of stuff to cart and then I made Avery I didn't really make Reagan do it because Reagan says no to everything but then it comes in and she loves it she doesn't have an opinion for me yet Avery has an opinion so I made Avery go through and tell me what she wanted and what she didn't and I'll explain the next thing but this is the first thing it's just like this cute striped it's got like the ruffly sleeves um tight fitted tee i suppose and then this dress i actually had it in a different color in my cart and she wanted a different color it's a mock neck uh long sleeve dress is that amazon yes <gasps> amazon just got here um and this is like an emerald green color i feel like this would be so pretty for like christmas or thanksgiving <sighs> so, cute. so that's avery 
two Reagan dresses. This first one's this beautiful rust. I love the cut like rust color. And it has like a a different textured skirt. So like the top's more like fitted and then this like flows out. She's just always wants to wear dresses, so figured I would do that. And then this one's just kind of all around that waffle knit and it's a light purple. I'm gonna put those away. Um, this is there too advent calendars for the year so i saw andrea in her last vlog that i saw talk about getting advent calendars for the kids and i was like oh my gosh that's a great idea i should probably get those now because like they get marked up so heavy the closer it gets to christmas time and she had mentioned the um little people barbie one and i was like oh i should get that for reagan so this is the little people barbie advent and it says the age range is from one and a half to five Reagan is four, so she is on like the higher end of this age range, but I still think she'll like it. So I got her that, and then Avery, I was a little bit unsure. I think she got many brands last year, so we just, we did it again this year. She really enjoyed it, so I think they're new, hopefully. And then I got a, oh, hello, <laughs> I got an ad, and I never usually get like dot by the ads. But I saw an ad for Sugarfina Advent and I was like, oh, that's really cute. And like me and Brian love Sugarfina, but I never spend the money on it because it does feel like luxurious, bougie candy to me. So the only time I've ever gotten it is as like as a gift and I'm always so stoked. And so I was on their website and I was like, maybe I'll just like gift myself, but also like say me and Brian are doing it together. But I saw they have an advent calendar and I'm going to be saving this after we do it because look this is beautiful like literally so beautiful and it comes with four pieces of candy per day so perfect we can all have a piece of candy which i think is kind of fun and exciting oh my gosh i have to show you guys this it's just like literally so pretty here i'm gonna go down if i can okay ready like a work of actual art this is gorgeous like i'm absolutely obsessed with this the price point is a little nutso i'm not gonna lie but it's so pretty and i'm like seriously gonna display this after christmas because it's gorgeous and then while i was on sugarfina i saw they had a halloween like tasting collection and i was like sure again this is so cute and like this isn't necessarily an advent but like Come on, these are so cute. Like, I want to save these forever. These are so beautiful. So, that's everything I wanted to share with you. My video is done now. I'm going to go ahead and hello and make the um, thumbnail and get that video up. Put these back up here. Those are Sugar Fina ones. So, I guess I will just make a pile. And um, go back downstairs and enjoy my evening with Brian. And I'll chat with y'all tomorrow. Good Friday morning, everyone. I look the exact same I've looked all week long um i got a little bit of extra sleep this morning and i got avery ready for bed or avery what avery ready for school and then i went back to bed because this one had a bad dream last night and kept me up and i think this is the second night in a row this has happened i cried at night yeah so i went back to sleep for an additional i would say about hour hour and a half which is really nice um but because of that before i open the two large uh fragrance oil packages because I have two massive ones I have one that'll be here today and then the other one still isn't shipped but I'm not gonna stress about it because it only has two oils in it and like one of the oils I have and one of them I don't think I need for like a minute so I'm like not necessarily worried about it but I am like you know annoyed but it's fine so I'll go through those in a minute because I'm gonna go ahead and do listings and the Facebook post and the Instagram post and everything for the release today I am wearing my Sanderson sisters or Sanderson house shirt today in honor of the hocus pocus release which I'm very excited for um, but it is gonna be a lot because it is 14 listings because I'm doing the Halloween cereals as one so I'm doing that right now I'm gonna go through those packages and I'm gonna get started on the busiest, I suppose, the most intense uh, pre-order scent, which is the pistachio almond cookies and zucchini bread. I'm gonna get started on that today. And I do need to order more bags because I only have three loaf bags. And thankfully this scent has more chunk bags. There's only two loaves of this. There's 
a ton of charm bags. So I don't have to worry about that, but I am gonna go ahead and order some bags because I wanna make sure I have enough bags for the pre-order for Deathly Hallows and just, I mean, the Let's Blend collection is all snap bars, so I probably have to order a bunch of those. I just wanna make sure I have those and those ship relatively quickly, so I'm gonna make sure that's in. I checked Old Navy and it says that my other package should be here today, which is exciting. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan for today. I'm gonna finish filming my plan with me releases at 3 Dortmund plays at 1 30 so that game should be over by 3 30 so I should be doing release while the game is on and I also want to read want to read girl I do want to read but like if I can't get to it until tonight that's okay, okay. so that's kind of the plan for today nothing too intense um except for like the pre-order stuff but like that's just gonna be like one massive pour i don't know if i'm gonna do two rounds of it today but just like one massive pour and then um oh crap can you chill out i have to make the label for that because i didn't make the pre-order labels yesterday so i might just make that one because i like to have those printed as i'm going so i can put them on yeah. we'll see we'll see but i'm gonna go ahead and do listings and facebook posts and everything right now it is currently okay okay Okay. 9 17 so i'll check oh, in with you when i'm done day. okay i'm done i just had to run up the stairs so to get something for reagan it's 10 08 so less than an hour but everything is posted ready to go all of the releases are on etsy and now i have to do dishes but i think i want to put away all those fragrance oils first and then i'll do dishes and then i'll make wax I think it's my current plan. Reagan's watching Bluey, so it's a little bit loud in the background. But I just wanted to update you that I'm halfway done with that first scent. Um, might finish it today. Not 100% on that one, but I might just to get it done, which would be great. I'm going to try and talk over this intro. And I just finished making all of the pre-order labels. And now I'm working on the October calendar. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm up here now. So I finished pretty much all of my computer work, which is kind of nice. Um, I still probably could make the Harry Potter labels, but I'll just do those next week because it's not like a priority for right now. The Dortmund game is in about an hour, so I'm going to pull stickers to film. I don't think I'm going to film it just yet, though. I might film later this evening. <sighs> yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to think of like my schedule for the rest of today, but I definitely think I can film later this evening. I did get some books I want to share with you guys. I made like an October TBR stack because I have big dreams for October because I know I can read horror slash thriller fairly quickly. But I'm like low-key a little embarrassed the amount of books. So maybe I'll show you later. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull stickers real quick. Um, I'm in my new planner for the second half of the year. And yes, feeling good. I don't think I've checked in with you guys at all, but I just finished filming my day by day of my plan with me. My father-in-law just left. It's already past five, so I need to start cooking soon. Um, but I just wanted to get it done really quick. And so that's what I did. Um, our release went up and so far so good a lot of things have sold out but they didn't sell out super quickly I think the first thing that sold out took about 30 minutes which in, in my idea like my visions that's perfect because it gives people like ample amount of time to order which is great um, I need to pick out my next stuff for my next plan with me so I can set that up but yeah so it did really really well I'm very excited um oh this is gonna look so good um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for such a great release always. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, my Old Navy stuff came, the rest of it. It's all in my room right now, so I'm gonna go show you guys. I think the kiddos are downstairs chilling, but I'm not sure. Ooh, I need to get more silver. Oh, they're right there. Duh. Um, sorry, I'm trying to just, like, get all the, like, little basic stuff that I need, which is just this stuff right here. Okay. But yeah, so I'll go show you guys that and then that's honestly probably going to be it for this vlog. Um, I don't know how well it was, honestly. I feel like I, like last week obviously like I vlogged for a few days and then stopped because like it just wasn't good. <laughs> like it wasn't like, I don't know, just not something I felt like uploading. But I don't know, this one could be bad. And I'll probably still upload it because I don't know. 
I don't know. Well, we went to the spirit store and got Halloween costumes and stuff. But yes, so I'll go do that real quick and then I'll end the vlog because I want to cook. We're just making pasta in garlic bread tonight and I need to take those clothes and put those away too. So I'll do that in a minute. But let's go do that and then I'll end the vlog with you guys. Reagan's gonna be my little helper. We're gonna start with just the only other thing that I got for myself, which is essentially the same as the other shirt I got. This is a little bit more ribbed and it's light gray. I know the color from my lamp isn't that great, but there's that. Yeah, I'm gonna have you hand me this pile. So that's that, come on down. And then we have Avery's pile. So Avery got this cute little like plaid. Can I do my pile? Yes, this cute little plaid skirt. So it is shorts, but obviously the front looks like a skirt. Brian's calling me, hold it. We'll just, we'll call him right back. So very, very cute little plaid skirt. Oh, hold on one second, I'm gonna finish with Avery and then I'll do you, okay? And then she also picked out these pants, but she's gonna need different shoes because like her shoes are like bright blue sneakers, but these are extra cool plaid bell bottom pants. And then two of like the same kind of shirt, just different colors. This one's kind of like a burgundy, kind of more rusty color. And then this one's more of like a light pink. And then she also just got a pair of basic jeans. Reagan, so this is another one. So I showed you guys the dresses she got. This is kind of the same exact thing, just in light pink. Girlie loves her dresses. She got a pair of jeans. Oh, one at a time, that's two. Do this one a second. This little flannel, which is so cute. I think I'm gonna use this like a jacket flannel for her. This shirt, which Reagan loved because it has a heart on the pocket. Mm -hmm. What's that? Some red basic leggings. And then another pair of jeans. And that is it. That's gonna be it for our vlog this week, you guys. Do you wanna say see you later? See you later. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.